Good afternoon, this is Melissa with the stockswish.com and welcome. Welcome to a review of the gap this morning, which was WFT. This had a fast, quick move down this morning, um, broke the area, then got out, rallied back up again. I did not do a second trade in it, even though I called it. Had a nice move down in here for the second trade, broke the low by only by a penny, and then didn't get to the full on bigger, bigger target. Uh, you know, dream target on this today, really. Here, this is was the dream target today, 14, 1443-ish. Um, the issue with this is that um, it's just caught in an area here, but it did get down. And actually, this can break the low of the day again. This is this is holding here in the 15 minute. It's set up in the 30. It's set up in the 60. Let's just look at this here. It actually set up and triggered at 2 o'clock major reversal time here on the 15. Let me look at the 30. So the 30 minute triggered here at 2 o'clock as well. And so did the 60. So this could very well go back down to the low of the day. It's done the rally. It's done its rally here. It held actually at an area. Um, and it's triggered on the 15, 30, and 60 minute charts here um, at 2 o'clock major reversal time. So this could have a move back down into itself here today. I don't know if it gets all the way down to the low of the day. I don't know if it breaks the low of the day. I don't know exactly where this wants to go today, specifically um, into the afternoon period. But this is, this is a trade right in here, right now at this moment with the stop over the base. It's already triggered. And actually, open of the day here was what, 87? Yeah. So, but it had a nice move this morning. And um, even though it didn't have a huge move, had a very beautiful entry in this. And I like these quick plays in the morning. I like these plays in the morning with nice tight stops and good entries that just go and break. That's in an ideal world. That's the way I trade every single day. <laughs> so rallied up here beautifully. Look at this. Perfect. Set up. Boop. And it had a great exit here. Just had a great exit here. 60 was the first target. And it, when it got within four cents of it into the reversal time here into 10 o'clock and started to go like this, I got all out of it. I had a great exit on this. Second trade, you had to wait a little teeny weeny bit for this to go. Here was the second trade. Set up in here, you got the confirmation, finally triggered and went and broke. Again, only broke the low of the day by one penny. So you got to get out. It didn't break full on through. Here you can see it better here with the rally back up. You can see it better here with the rally back up. And uh, so this could definitely scoop down in here this afternoon. There's nothing wrong with this. This is holding the weakness here. Where is this really going to go and break, though, if it wants to break this afternoon? Let me just see what this has to do. I think it has to convincingly get under under 87, basically, under under 86, 85. Let me just look at this here. Eighty-five. This has to really get and break down under eighty-five. If it can really convincingly get and break down under eighty-five, um, you know, this is a nice short here this afternoon and wherever it goes for a move. And very well could get down to the low of the day. So this could be a two or three hour trade here into the afternoon. I mean it's holding very well, holding beautifully, and market isn't against you in this trade because even though the market's bullish here today, it's it's in such a doji narrow range that it's not going to affect anything really today in either direction, up or down. So this is WFT, nice trade in here this morning, quick trade and it was all out. Called a second trade in it, but I only did the first one. And uh, you can look at this this afternoon. Watch and see if it breaks. It's already triggered on the bigger time frames. I think it's not going to start to really go until it breaks under here. So you could take it under here, but the stop has to be over the base. All right, this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. Hope everyone has a great day. If you're interested in more information or would like to sign up for the Gap class this weekend, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.